What's going on, everybody? This is your main man, Ike Smooth Baron, with some more country living. Check this out. Uh, I'll do anything it takes to help somebody out, especially family and friends. I don't got no friends. I just got family, all right? So I had one of my buddies call me. I grew up with this guy, and and, and he said, hey, man, I'm on. I'm, I'm, I'm starting a new career, man, and I'm, I'm going to get into combat sports. Well, I said, all right. Uh, that sounds great. And he he said, you know what, man? You've always been supportive of me. And, you know, you're big and, and I know that you can take being my sparring partner. I said, well, doggone it, count me in. You know, I'm from the country. We don't mind wharf housing horse playing. So I went up there. He, I said, you got a gym that you go to? He said, no, nah, just come over over to the house and we're going we gonna to spar in the garage. Or I, I got my, th my stuff set up there. I said, all right. So I go. I take me and my wife. She, she, you know, she's friend with his wife and everything. So they're in the house talking out in the garden and thing. So he brings me into the, into this barn, right? And the way he keep his tractors and everything. He got a little setup, and he says it's right here. I say it's right where? Where, where are we gonna do this boxing at? Where's the headgear? Where's the mouthpiece and everything? Where's the cups? You know the protection stuff that we put on to do the sparring. He tells me. Oh, no, we don't need none of that. I said, well, okay, well, well, I don't mind going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. Just don't hit, hit me hard in my face. You know, this is my money maker. So he says, uh, no, it ain't boxing. You see that table right there? It ain't no ring. I said, okay, so what kind of combat sport are we going to do up here at this ring? He said, let me show you. I said, okay. He said, all right, stand there and hold this stick in your hand. He had a little stick like a baton when you run track with he said, hold this behind your back. And he gave me some some uh, some hay. He said, chew that hay up real good and just hold it in your mouth in front of your teeth. That's going to protect your mouth and hold some in your jaws. And I was like, what the hell's going on there? He said, all right. And he commenced to put his hand back like that. And he sized it up to my face like that. And he reached right back. He said, swan. Two, and by this time, I'm like, what the hell is going on? And he said, three, and he slapped fire from me. I was dazed, confused, and in, 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 uh, in an uproar. I was mad as a hornet's nest with a hog to just bit into it, trying to get something to honey. I said, what the hell was that, man? He said, oh, I didn't tell you. I'm in the, I'm in the slapping competition. I'm going for the heavyweight championship of, of, the, of the, uh, the amateurs. And I said, when the hell did, did that become a sport to slap another man in his face like that? And I looked it up, and it's showing the diggings is. It sure is a thing. It sure is comeback sports. Standing there holding a stick behind your back and let somebody smack their tater taste out your mouth. I don't want no more of that. 